What the heck is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first tutorial in using the HTML5 Canvas. Now if you've been watching my videos before you probably already know that I already made an entire series about HTML5. So what the heck am I doing right now making a whole nother series about it? Well as the title implies this video series is going to be only specifically talking about the HTML5 Canvas. Now the Canvas in HTML5 is in my opinion the coolest part of HTML5 and that's because this is the area where you do all your cool drawing and interactivity and all your awesome animations take place and if you want to make any games with HTML5 this is the area where you need to focus on so that's why I want to take a whole mini series and dedicate it specifically to using the HTML5 canvas now for those of you guys who have never you know even heard of HTML5 I highly recommend watching my HTML5 tutorials first they're on my website thenewboston.org once you watch those you're gonna have a nice solid understanding of the language and these tutorials are gonna make a whole lot more sense to you so don't jump right into these please watch my HTML5 tutorials first alright so now that I wasted a minute of your lives already let me go ahead and actually do something useful start coding and shut up so what I did already is I basically made an HTML file in a JavaScript file so obviously if you ever watch HTML5 tutorials the HTML file is where you're going to be putting all of your basic building blocks and all your cool things your interactivity and your animations are going to be taking place in the JavaScript file so they basically go hand in hand in creating a really cool interactive awesome web page so before we get to the cool stuff we go ahead and we have to make the basic building blocks first so let me go ahead and do that so go ahead and make a basic HTML file and in it first thing you need is your doc type HTML and then we need all of the boring tags HTML ending HTML and we also need to do this for the head 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 ending head and of course the body the body because my body is so sexy right now my body is my body my body and coding at the same time singing at the same time now we can go ahead and add a style tag now inside your head the first thing you want to do is you want to add a style tag so let me go ahead and add a style and unlike the previous versions of XHTML you don't need to specify that it's CSS because CSS is the default in HTML5 so what's the first thing we want to do to our web page? Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to change the background color of it because check this out. Go ahead, launch in Chrome. Oh, plain white. This looks pretty cool. Not if you could, you know, not catch the sarcasm over there. So what I want to do, very first thing is of course change the background color. So body. And let me just go ahead and make this um gray. So background 999999 this is you know not dark gray not light gray so well basically gray so now let me go ahead and well if I save this and show you guys refresh it we now have a cool gray background now the reason I want to make a gray background is because I want my canvas to be white and of course if you have white on white you can't really tell where the canvas starts and where the background you know it pretty much looks cooler if they're contrasting each other so that's why I want my website to be a different color alright so the next thing we want to do is we want to set the properties for the canvas using canvas ID so whenever we make the canvas element of course we need to go ahead and reference this ID so the first thing I want to do is I just want to add a margin margin of 10 pixels and also a padding 10 pixels as well just because it looks a little bit neater whenever we're you know drawing stuff and now what I want to do is I want to specify the background of this to white now you're saying alright why do you need to do that because isn't it white by default well actually whenever you make a canvas in HTML5 it automatically inherits the parent element and since the parent is of course the body it would have a default background of gray and obviously if our canvas was gray and our background was gray then everything would be gray and gloomy and we'd probably go into depression and slit our wrist and that wouldn't be good we're here to learn HTML5 so if you want to avoid depression you need your background to be white does that make sense to you hopefully so now what we want to do is we want to add a border of 
one pixel solid black and all right this looks pretty good so now we're saying all right we set the background of our website to gray and whenever we make a canvas with the ID of canvas we want it to be white with a black border so on and so forth but if we save this website and refresh it nothing happens why is that well because even though we set the properties of the canvas we didn't actually make the canvas itself so how do we do that well go ahead and add canvas and we actually might as well go ahead and end it right now canvas and I want to mention this the newer browsers like Google Chrome and the any updated browser can display HTML5 and can display the canvas however if someone like your mom has a really old computer and she didn't update her browsers for a long time they're not gonna know what the heck the canvas is just because the browser is outdated so any browser that's outdated is gonna be able to read the text in between this so we'll just go ahead and write get a new browser with the explanation point so basically like I said if you have an updated browser that shows HTML5 you're just gonna see the canvas and not the text however if you have an old browser then we just wanna leave them a little note get a new freaking browser so the first thing I wanna do in my canvas which I just created is I wanna reference the ID canvas because that sets this canvas to inherit these properties which we would like so in order to do that ID equals canvas now the next thing you want to do is you want to specify the size of your canvas now for my canvas I just want the width to equal 600 pixels and you just go ahead and write 600 not px or anything and the height is equal to 300 now you can actually make your canvas any size the reason that I'm doing this is because as you can see whenever I launch it it fits nicely in my screen recorder so in this tutorial obviously what we did is we basically just made a blank canvas on the screen pretty freaking cool but I told you guys that this thing was like interactive and cool and right now we just made a white box not that cool so we're gonna be saving cool stuff for the next tutorial but for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video